Hey, greetings from Macau. Today I'm taking a day trip here around Macau from Hong Kong. Currently I'm in the Venetian Hotel and Casino. Check out the backdrop. That looks amazing, it looks like Venice. This is amazing. But before we explore, let's go back from the start and see how I got here, all right? There's a few ways to get to Macau. A helicopter ride, a ferry service, or the upcoming car bridge that connects Hong Kong to Macau. But today, we're going to use the ferry, which is the more affordable option. So firstly, if you are coming via MTR, you need to get on the island line towards Kennedy Town and alight at Xiongwan Station. Once there, head towards exit D for the Macau Ferry Terminal. The two major ferry services are by Turbojet or Kotai Waterjet. Today, I picked Turbo because it's Turbo. A one-way ticket costs approximately 170 Hong Kong dollar, depending on the day of the week, and it's about a 40-minute ride to Macau. Don't forget your passport, though. Now, we just got off the ferry here, so we're in the terminal here in Macau. If you have one day in Hong Kong that you can spare, come down here for a day trip here into Macau, because it's pretty cool. And if you're looking to explore Macau for the first time, grab a map here. The shuttle bus terminal is just outside, and with most hotels and resorts offering free shuttle buses to their location, well, I think it's time to get on board and enjoy the scenic tour of Macau. Now that we're up to speed, welcome to the Venetian Macau. Okay, so currently we are in the Venetian food court area. Oh my gosh, there's so much selection here. There's Team Ho Wan, there's obviously a Macau traditional food as well. Take a look. Holy, there's so much selections right here. Anyway, since I'm in Macau, I've got to try some of their traditional uh, local food here as well. So one of them is a pork chop bun just right around the corner here. Let's check it out. Oh my God, it looks so good. I mean, it's made into like a burger brioche here and wow, it's fried really well and I just can't wait to try it. There's a couple of bones in it so just be careful when you're eating. So let's, let's try the meat. Oh my god, that fat on the pork on the side here, oh it's just beautiful, oh it's so good. It's good though but the bread's kind of dry so don't really like the bread but the pork's pretty good. Mm. I mean, who doesn't like pork chop, right? For me, I got myself Tim Ho Wan. So, what I order, this one is basically chung fan with prawn. So, I'm pretty sure you guys check out the street food that we tried. So, this is the good chung fan. And I also got the bean curd with prawn as well. I love my prawns. Tim Ho Wan is actually one star Michelin um, dim sum restaurant. There's a branch all over the world. One of them is actually in Sydney. But That's right. you know, this is the origin. That's right. So if you tried Tim Ho Wan in Sydney and you tried Tim Ho Wan in Hong Kong or even here, huh, I tell you, once you try dim sum in Hong Kong, you'll never go back. Correct. <laughs> Dip in some chili, as always. We love our chili. Tell you, dim sum here is just out of this world. Wow, what a great lunch. Currently, we're still in the Venetian here. We're gonna check out some more places around here. Currently, we're in a great hall section of the Venetian. Check out the deco art right above me. Wow, beautiful, right? It's just amazing. And the casino is just right under us, right there. So this place is everything pretty much. So if you're coming down here to obviously you chop your hearts out for the luxury high-end brands, they've got everything here. You got Hugo Boss right there. 
They've got obviously the Eiffel Tower 2 right here. Take one. This is like casino land. There's not a casino there. There's not a casino there. And hey, look, there's not an Eiffel Tower here. Yeah, we've been talking about Eiffel Tower. Actually, there is a huge one right here behind me. Look at this. Wow. So we were in the Venetian just now and then the Four Seasons and now we're in the Parisian. So it's just a mall that connects everywhere. That's awesome. And again, it's all the high-end brands and all that good stuff around here. So we're gonna check out the level seven Eiffel Tower here. All right. Okay, so we made it up here to level 37 of this man-made Eiffel Tower. Oh my gosh, 360 degrees views towards Macau. This is amazing. Check it out. You know the scary part about being up here is that there are holes underneath here. If you see through that, it's actually like the ground floor. So there's literally nothing underneath us here except for planks and stuff so <laughs> that's pretty scary right okay so next up is Senado Square right behind me here there's a place called Ruins of St. Paul I want to check that out also want to check out some of the town center here all the food and stuff like that so let's check it out first stop you gotta try the Portuguese egg tart. So as soon as you arrive in Sanada Square, there's a pastry shop called Pastelaria Coca. Yeah. Mm. So this shop is very famous with their egg, Portuguese egg tart, as well as their snacks, which is like almond cookies and also beef jerky, pork jerky. There's a lot of uh, snacks that you can basically buy and then take it home. Let's try it. There's a lot more flavor on this one than the Hong Kong ones. It's also a lot more crispier on the edges here as well. See that? This is really, really hard and crunchy. But the flavor is there, absolutely. Oh, it's really really hot taking a little breather here But the one that you just saw just now is the ruins of St. Paul it used to be the St. Paul's College right behind me here But due to fire accident in 1835, this is what remains of it really there's nothing behind it anymore It's just empty. So the only structure that remains is just this beautiful structure here right in front the facade Which is why a lot of people are taking photos just in front But yeah so before you leave Macau, make sure that you check out this place. It's called Poke Bakery. So you can buy any snacks uh, which is made in Macau. Especially like this one. This is almond cookies. It's really good. They also have, you know, some uh, trial. So you can basically just try every single one and then pick which one you want. There you go, guys. Hopefully you enjoy the Macau day trip here. As always, thank you so much for watching and if you guys enjoy it, hit the like button, put, leave a comment, let us know which place did we miss and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.